I mean, I realize I'm 51, but I really believe that there's fights out there that I could have fun and be able to entertain the fans because I really love that. This is what makes me happy. When I made the decision to train, I knew I had to get away. I knew I had to put myself in a position to where I would be hungry again. But then I got to think, you know, this would work. I could completely focus on my fight, no distractions, and do what I need to do to win fights. I need this in order for me to move on. Win, lose, draw, whatever it is, I need this. So I put myself in this trailer to get away from all that entitlement. This is my sanctuary. Not only does it make you hungry, but I think the biggest thing it's done for me was help me appreciate the things I have and what the accomplishments that I've done. It really helps me appreciate those things. It really brings it back to value for me. This is like, this is not something that just everybody does. Oatmeal and eggs. This is my dishes up here for pots and pans. <clears throat> yeah, you can see how organized they are. <laughs> yeah, my wife would say, what is this? I got my refrigerator, got my butter, my steaks and chickens. I got my uh, multivitamins. I got my shamrock slam on this cabinet here. I got my proteins. I live on a country club golf course. Walk out my backyard, get on the course, play some golf. And I'm telling you, man, I got a, I got a great family and a great life. Imagine taking yourself out of that, putting yourself away from the people that you love. Then you understand the sacrifice that's being made and my desire to win this fight. You can do anything you set your mind to. And it is true. It is so true. But how much are you willing to give of your mind? to achieve what you want. Before, when I was going through all those issues, it was always trying to figure out that way to, to really turn the fight in my favor. Whereas when I'm walking into this one, I just don't see how he could win. When I woke up this morning and I had a hard time getting going today because of my knots and training I had yesterday, when you do this, man, you come out, it's almost like it's all gone. He hasn't fought at the elite level, but in his mind, he thinks he has. And he has no idea what that elite level is. And when I look at it, I'm saying he can't win. So we've been working out for like a month or whatever it was leading up to this. We were just sparring and uh, he wanted a lot of pressure. Uh, he wanted me coming hard and stuff like that because that's what Kimball's known for and what he's gonna be dealing with. So in an effort trying to do that, um, you know, I was coming 16 ounce gloves and everything. I uh, caught Ken right on the forehead and I uh, broke, uh, broke my hand right here. You know, Ken, he's older, but he's in phenomenal shape. You know, I'm six foot two and I come in here and I spar with him and he's still able to surprise me with head kicks. Uh, I mean, that's just something that you don't expect out of that. So I, th I think Ken's gonna do real well here. I mean, of course I'm on his side, but I think that, I think he wins this fight all hands down. The only way he can win is if I get in there and I start being stupid and I go punch for punch. I start brawling with the guy instead of using my skills. But I got enough knowledge to be able to make this fight go in my direction and be able to put the pace where I want it. This comeback for me is about closing chapters that I left open all along the way. I'm blessed to be able to have an opportunity to go over there and write some things because I have to. I believe in his mind he's gonna find out where he's at. I believe this fight is gonna tell the truth about who I am and about who he is.